So there are two things you need to know about ammonia. You need to know how it's produced in the harbour process and you need to know what conditions it's produced under. So just to recap, this is the reaction for the production of ammonia here. This is a reversible reaction, hopefully that symbol is familiar to you, which means as the forward reaction is happening, at exactly the same time, the backward reaction is happening. It's not as if nitrogen and hydrogen combine, make ammonia, sit there for a little bit, have a chat, have a cup of tea, and then ammonia turns back into nitrogen and hydrogen. It is constantly cycling around. There's no stopping. So these are conditions that you need to remember. It's done at 450 degrees C, 200 atmospheres, and it has an iron catalyst. Now these conditions are a compromise, and I'm going to explain to you why they're a compromise, and this is the bit that gets quite tricky. So we need to understand about equilibrium, and I'm talking about equilibrium in a closed system. So I have my box here. This is my closed system. Now, everything in the box wants to stay the same. It doesn't want to change. So whatever you do to the box, the stuff inside the box is going to have an opposite effect. So if you heat up the box, the stuff inside the box is going to get colder. Now, we can put this in a slightly more scientific way, and we can say that an endothermic reaction is going to happen. If you squash the box or squash a balloon, the scientific way of saying this is that you're increasing the pressure, so it's going to want to decrease the pressure, or it's going to shift to the side with a fewer moles. This is all about the box or the, the reaction vessel, the stuff inside of it, counteracting what you do to the outside of it. So, one of the questions I could ask you is to explain why uh, the harbour process is carried out at 450 degrees when the forward reaction is exothermic. Now, if we heat things up, remember the, the reaction vessel, the stuff inside, wants to get colder. It wants to do the endothermic reaction. So, if we heat this up, it's naturally going to go in this direction here, which seems counterintuitive because we want to produce ammonia, so we want to be forcing it in this direction, but heating up will shift the equilibrium to this side. But we need to remember, we need to think back a little bit and think back about rates of reaction. If we increase the temperature, particles are going to have more energy, they're going to collide more often, and we're going to get more successful reactions taking place. So increasing the temperature will shift the equilibrium to this side, but it will also speed up the rate of reaction. So I've written this down here for you, um, I'm hoping to make it a bit clearer. An increase in temperature will cause the reverse reaction to increase, shifting the equilibrium to the left-hand side. This is a really, really um, important phrase here because it properly demonstrates to the examiner that you know what you're talking about. However, an increase in temperature also um, increases the rate of reaction of both the forward and backward reactions. So the next condition they ask you about might be the pressure. Um, so remember if we increase the pressure oops, if we increase the pressure um, the stuff inside is going to want to shrink it's going to go to the side with the fewer moles. So this is our equation here nitrogen plus three hydrogen makes two ammonia. So on this side we have four things and on this side we have two things. So an increase in pressure is going to shift the equilibrium to this side because two things take up less space than four things. Now, we can put that in a slightly more sciencey way. An increase in pressure favours the side with fewer moles, so we'll shift the equilibrium to the right-hand side. Again, a really sophisticated phrase. You're showing off to the examiner. You're letting the examiner know that you know what you're talking about. However, in industry, pressures above 200 atmospheres are not used due to the difficulties in building a container and safety. So if we had an even higher pressure, it would speed up the, um, it would shift the equilibrium even more to the right-hand side, 
but it would be a greater chance of exploding, which would be dangerous. Um, you could have workers hurt, you could have them killed. So not only would it be dangerous, it would be hard to build a container that would um, hold it. And because it's more dangerous, things like your insurance costs are going to go up, your building costs are going to go up. So there's quite a lot going on in here. So the other thing you need to know is that iron catalyst is used and the catalyst will speed up the rate of both the forward and both the reverse reactions. Now whenever you're talking about ammonia and the harbour process, you have to remember that it's removed as liquid at the bottom of the reaction vessel, so this will automatically shift the equilibrium to the right hand side. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.